Tina from Short Me Tina here, and I'm interrupting this video to give you a PSA. If you're watching this video, I can conclude you're either a trader or an investor looking to make money in the stock market. If any of those statements are true, then you're going to want to do two things. One, sign up for our free newsletter as we discuss tips and secrets on how to make money in the stock market. And two, check out our watch list. It's released every Sunday night for free. They contain a handful of stocks I think can make everyone, including you, money. Now back to the regular scheduled program. Hello, Short Me Tina once again from shortmetina.com. Doing a pre-morning or before the bell, pre-market video recap on ticker CRON. Uh, I woke up this morning and realized the stock was trading over $9. Uh, you should see sort of two screens. A uh, portion of it is level two, so you can see what the stock is trading at in pre-market. And of course, on the right-hand side uh, is the daily chart. So a couple of statistics, right? Well, full disclosure, this actually um, was or is a official premium pick in our community here at Short Me Tina. We initially got into the trade, and I've done a couple of videos, um, I believe this week. So we got into the trade somewhere around here with the buy zone of, you know, mid fives to low to mid six. So the stock is, you know, it's given us some substantial gains. Uh, it's been quite a run up for the past few days. So I wanted to get that disclosure out the way uh, at any rate. So in pre-market, so far, about 250 million shares have traded, and the range is uh, anywhere from uh, $8.65. That was the low, and so far, pre-market high is at 9.15. So that's well above uh, the high of the past, the highs of the past three days, right? The past three days, the stock, at least in um, normal hours trading, has not been able to crack that $9 mark. But for some odd reason, if this can continue, I think we're going to do that today. So let's just go over the chart a little bit and, you know, see essentially what I'm seeing. Again, it's a daily chart. It's dating back to around 2017. But I want to focus in on price action that started in March uh, because that's when the range started to build up, in my opinion. Stock has been trading between two points for about six months. So it's consolidating, healthy consolidation because it's... Um, it's been going on for a, you know, for a decent period of time right now, a little under six months, I want to say. And it's been cycling through, let's say that, you know, where our buy zone came at around 550 to around our initial target of around $8. So it's been cycling through 550 and $8 for a while, with the exception of this week, where we've, we've kind of been hanging above that resistance level of 8 so maybe now going forward, uh, $8 will be the new area of support, which bodes extremely well for anyone, including myself, that's bullish on ticker CRON or that's bullish on the marijuana sector. So what do I see happening today? Providing that we can continue this momentum that we're seeing in pre-market trading, right? I think we're going to open up above $9, which is great. If you get a pullback, fine. If it just runs out the gate, then... I think that the stock can do great things today. So I see resistance coming in at, well, let's see. I see resistance coming in, let's say somewhere around here, anywhere, you know, the upper nines to around 1050. I think, again, if momentum can continue today, I don't see why the stock can trade at uh, around 1050. And things, if, if things get really out of hand, uh, I don't see us going to $12 today, which I believe it's all-time highs. Uh, don't quote me, I have to look back. Well, it'll, but it'll be highs um, that we achieved back in... Uh, January of this year. So I definitely see that in the intermediate term. I'm not sure if that's going to happen today unless things get really out of hand. Uh, let's see, we have some buys coming in here. So, you know, there's again, there's activities going on in pre market trading. So, last quote is at 914. Gonna wrap this video up here. So, momentum is on the side for Kron. It's been here for the past uh, 
two weeks and if we can stay above eight dollars right if we can stay above you know this now support level once resistance i think that the stock can hit twelve dollars not necessarily saying it's going to happen today but i can see that in the shorter term because you know if you look back stock has gone from five to nine almost a double in two weeks so i don't see why 12 is out of the question but today if momentum can continue I am looking for a print in the $10, in the $10 range. So that's kind of it. Short Me Tina here from shortmetina.com. If you enjoyed this video, do two things for me. One, head on over to my YouTube page at Short Me Tina. Hit that subscribe button. I do videos every single day. If you subscribe, every time I upload one, you'll be automatically notified. Uh, and two, head on over to shortmetina.com. Sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for the support.